Hi everyone, Simon here. I lost my mama Sam. Frozen. Hmm. Yeah, she went. So one year, so I did three months of the first bar. Soy seven, I was there for one year, nine months. One year, six months in, I was starting to get uh, disillusioned with the bar industry and Patea. I'd sort of, I'd had enough. I, you know, was, I was drinking more as well, which wasn't good. And I remember talking to Frozen, the mum and son, and saying, you know, I'm not here much longer. I think I'm going to uh, do other things uh, and try some other things in Thailand. Um, and yeah, that was about three months before I went. Three, four, four months. Anyway, I just mentioned to her, and she's like, mm, yeah, okay, I understand all that. But nothing else was said. So about a month later, so one, three months before it all had finished, a couple, married couple, came into the bar. Um, they were in the 60s. Lovely couple, absolutely lovely. The guy and me hit it off straight away. Really nice couple. Really, they really, really hit it off with Frozen. Um, they'd come in, they'd sit at the same end of the bar as Frozen did and drink, and they got chatting, got on like a house on fire. And they had a place, um, I don't know, Germany, I think it was. They were thinking of getting somewhere in Thailand, not sure. Um, and they were pretty new to Thailand. And I think they hit it off with Frozen because her English was so good, they could ask so many questions. Um, Anyway, this went on. Every night they'd be in, they'd come in and they'd spend two or three hours and they'd spend quite a bit of money. They'd tip the girls. I think they even rang the bell a couple of times. We got Pally, I got Pally with him and he um, wanted a break from his missus. And me and him, for half an hour, dropped two doors down to the go go bar and say hi to the girls and things. And he'd pipe the drinks down there as well. So, got on really well. Um, so, yeah, a few weeks every single night they were there and then they approached me and asked me what the situation was with the Mamasan could they take her out for a meal in the evening or could they bar find her and take her out of the bar uh, not really you can't with the Mamasan she's got to be there all the time for the girls anyway they kept on day after day kept asking me the same question kept pushing and pushing started offering money you know we'll pay over the top can we take her out they were getting on so well and uh, they wore me down anyway so quite often late in the evening my the Thai boss would be around doing uh, accounts with the cashier so the one night I had a word with her and the cashier and we was like okay it's coming towards low season we could probably let the Mamasan go at 10 at night and the cashier would look after the girls. They're pretty self-sufficient anyway. The girls are pretty good. So I agreed to this uh, couple that they could bar find the Mama San after 10 o'clock. And I put high price on the bar find. And 50-50, basically 50 to Frozen and 50 to the bar. I think it was a thousand baht. I put a heavy price on her. And they jumped at it. So they bar find Frozen, 10 o'clock the first night, second night, third night. This went on for a week. Every night they were bar finder. They were coming in, spending an hour before, buying drinks, talking to them. Week went by. Um, then the week after, they asked if uh, she could have some time off. They wanted to take her away with them to have a look around Thailand. And it was like, not really, we can't do that. No, not possible. Then they got they got quite friendly with my Thai boss, um, the lady, and they made an offer um, that was ridiculous. And Frozen came up to me and said, "Look, I'm going to leave the bar. They're going to give some money to the boss. I'm going to leave the bar and the job, and go." So I couldn't, well, what can I say? I said, well, sad, okay, well, I'll be moving on soon. So yeah, go for it. I don't know the fee, but I believe it was more than 50,000 baht they gave to the bar owner for 
the inconvenience. Um, hmm. And Frozen left. We had a party, of course you have to have a party, and that couple rang the bell loads of times. Big party, very good party. Everyone got drunk. Um, she left, that was it, she's gone. Lost the mama son. Did keep in touch for another month or two, um, and it turns out that, well, I'm still not sure. So this was a married couple in the 60s. They tried, firstly, getting a visa to take Frozen back to, I think it was Germany, but Frozen failed because she'd had a problem when she was a young girl with the police, and it was no way it was getting wiped off the record. Um, they couldn't get a visa, it was refused. So, in the end, what they did, they went and bought, a, I think it was a house, maybe a condo, a house near Jontian, at that end of Patera anyway, and moved Frozen in with them, and they bought her a second-hand car, um, did some deal with her financially, put some money in her bank and gave her money. But I don't know why, to this day, I don't know if there was something in that relationship where they wanted a girl to interact. I don't know. I have no idea. To this day, I don't know what went on there. Really don't know. Strange. Maybe they wanted an au pair, a live-in, but there was no kids. Oh, I don't know. But Frozen was happy. She got a car, she got money, she got somewhere to live. She got out of the industry and last time I saw her she was over the moon and having a great time. We, for the, my last three months, we the cashier took over the job. Um, it was, everything was fine, yeah. The girls started tending to come to me more because they weren't mad on the cashier. Um, we did get a few little problems but the cashier made her have the final say. I wasn't getting too involved with hiring and firing. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, so we lost the mama son. It was a big shock. I mean, well, I'd already given her the green light by me saying that I was gonna be going. And I don't think she'd have stayed there if I wasn't there. Um, I think we both, you know, nearly two years, it was a lot of working in the bar. It takes its toll and so much alcohol, um, unsociable hours and things. It was it was hard work. And quite a few of you have asked, would I do it again? Would I get involved with a bar again? And the answer is no. Not even if you gave me a bar, not even if you offered me huge money, would I get involved with a bar again? A guest house, no. Hotel, no. Anything to do with alcohol, service industry, girls, no, no way, <laughs> not, no, nah. never, no. In fact, I haven't been back to Patea for 12 years maybe, it's been that long, uh, maybe longer. And I will have to go next year, I'm going to have to go down just a couple of days, just to catch up with the other Thai vloggers and say hello to them, but um, no. Nah. I'm not, uh, I drop in there maybe on the way down to Koh Chang or Koh Samet, um, beautiful part of the country. No, another bar, ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. So there we go, I lost Frozen, the Mama San. She left before me. Um, sad day, end of an era. Hope she's doing well, I hope she's still doing all okay. Might be wrong, she might now be in a bar somewhere in Thailand as a mamasan again. You might even know her. She might be your girlfriend. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something if one of the subscribers is now Frozen's boyfriend? Girlfriend? Girlfriend? Hmm, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Let me know if Frozen's not your partner. That's not her real name, you know that, but she, if she saw these videos, she'd know straight away who she was. <laughs> so there's another little tale for you. Right, I will uh, catch you on the next video. Thumbs up, down, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And uh, I'll see you soon. Be good.